So what is now the impulse response? of these ideal filters, impulse responses of the ideal filters. So how do we calculate them? And that's pretty easy because we know that our h of n, this is calculated as 1 over 2 pi and then minus pi to plus pi and then h to e to j omega and then e to j omega n and this is nothing else than as we've done this before our inverse Fourier transform and remember Again, so the only thing what we're interested here in is our b. So we can just replace this here basically with our b in terms of the amplitude factor here and keep it nicely symmetrical. And then with that we're getting a real h of n here. So let's do this as an example with our low pass filter response. <coughs> 